few days ago, there was a photograph in the media of a firefighter who had been fighting fires in Brazil. He's squatting down on the ground and giving a little cup of water to a tiny armadillo. And all the background around was just stumps of burned trees and bare earth. And I've been thinking a lot about this photo and why it's so touching, so beautiful, so, so big. And I think the reason is that here is a person who has been doing something on a big scale to help this terrible problem. He's been fighting the fires. And he's also doing something on a really small, intimate, personal scale, uh, level. He's helping a baby animal. And the fires are burning hundreds of thousands of acres in Brazil and also in the boreal forest in Canada in Alaska, where it's been the hottest summer on record, in California, in Portugal. Our beautiful earth is burning, and so many of us ask ourselves, what can I do? How do I, how do I relate to this? I myself feel so sad. My husband and I were talking about it today. He says he doesn't feel sadness, he feels alarm. There are people who feel angry, and rightfully so. So what do we do? What can we possibly do? And as I ask myself this question today and yesterday and the past few days, I find myself looking around at where I live in northeastern Pennsylvania and really just appreciating and being so grateful for the lush, green, beautiful, hilly landscapes. We're not having fires where I live. And I also find myself wanting to do something small and generous and unexpected the way that firefighter treats that armadillo. So like just imagining that everybody I meet has been through some kind of sorrow, some kind of suffering, and having a little bit more compassion for everyone, even if they don't agree with me politically, even if they're quite different from me. And I can also just take care of where I live. I can make sure I put all my own fires out. I can make sure that my plants and flowers get watered if I can spare the water. And I think there is no great big answer of what we can do to stop the devastation on our beautiful planet. But I think the question itself is worth asking. What's the biggest thing I can do today to help my planet or my community in need? And what's the smallest, most intimate thing that I can do today to help. Questions worth asking. And as usual, we can always find a way to find and make beauty in hard times.